my channel today's video is this hair I'm gonna show you guys how I basically install my wig like I normally do um don't pay attention to the size of my wig I just okay I did my makeup I'm gonna have the makeup video don't worry I was just trying out some like new P Louise bases and stuff and my eyes are not symmetrical at all but I think it turned out pretty good I'm gonna do other makeup looks I told y'all I'm gonna start doing makeup looks and stuff on my channel so like when I do the hair looks I'm gonna do a makeup look to go with it but like on the side here as you can see you can see my my cornrow right here so i just take one of these bobby pins and i take the hair but i use the hair from the ponytail and i pin the back of it down into my cornrows it disguises it really good so i feel like if you're having a little problem with seeing your hair like that just take some hair from the back or the ponytail wherever and just clip it down and that will help to disguise that so in today's video i'm gonna show you how i got this hairstyle and did this half up half down with this wig this is a 24 inch i believe i'm gonna have the specs on the screen but in the next clip i'm going to show you guys exactly what came in the packaging i just wanted to come and just show y'all how i'm looking right now so yeah let's get right into this guys so i was feeling a little stressed so i feel like i should put on my ginger wig this wig is from sunbear hair sunbear hair and let me just show you what came in the packaging really quick. Y'all know I'll always be showing y'all what come in the packaging, but this one is a little bit more exciting because they have a little bit more stuff. This leopard print headband, super cute. I probably should put it on when I'm wearing the wig, but this is how it looks. Then there's a brush and I believe I can use this brush to put the foundation on the lace so I'm gonna test that out it seems a little bit soft but it might be able to work so this is how the brush looks I'm not sure if it comes in every package in but it came in this one Ooh, a wig band this is a wig band it came with a wig band so maybe they might have them on their website if you guys need a wig band to hold down your lace this is a nice one it has no branding on it i love that and it's gonna hold the lace down and everything so i'm gonna use this today actually some lashes and a wig cap and a bonnet so yeah let's get right into this video i'm gonna be installing this wig and doing a half up half down look because I feel like it's giving springtime, so yeah. Okay, so this is the wig. I'm gonna leave the specs on the screen on top of this. I'm gonna leave the specs right here because I can't remember exactly, but this is a ginger wig and it is a frontal. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put on this wig how I normally do. I'm using the Ebon Lace Tint, uh, the Ebon Lace Spray because for some reason glue be hurting my head so i'm gonna just cut off everything and put it on my head and just glue it down like regular and play some music on top of that and then i'm gonna come back and talk you guys through my process of me slicking it up and making sure that it's looking nice because i'm not gonna do a half up like up here i'm gonna do a low one so you guys are gonna see my process for that i always make sure that i do this because i don't want none of my edges being pulled out by the wig in any way and sometimes if i'm not in the mood to do like a makeup look i do keep this wig on for one day so i can do the makeup look the next day and if i'm sleeping with the wig i want to make sure that my edges are bad because if my edges are not back my neighbors and their kids have been pissing me off every day religiously and they've been winning because i'm really pissed off that they're making so much noise so this is how I like for my hair to look. I like it to be pushed back and I like my edges to be intact when I'm done. So I'm gonna wipe my skin with some alcohol just to make sure it's nice and dry and that the wig is gonna last and I'm not gonna sweat through the adhesive. Also, I'm having a sale on the third. 
so make sure you follow me on instagram i think i'm also going to be doing a giveaway that day so you guys can enter like a two dollar raffle and you can enter as many times as you want i just have to figure out how i'm gonna make like a nice little flyer to post together with it so you guys can know and i want you guys to vote on if you want the giveaway to be like well the raffle to be colored wig a straight wig a body wave wig vote down below so i'll know exactly what type of wig okay so starting off with this wig sunbear hair really did that when it came to this wig it's really nice i'm making sure that i'm measuring it up on my head properly because some of these wigs don't be measuring up properly to the hairline and this one did i'm cutting off the air tabs just to make sure that it's gonna sit flat around my ear i just love love this let me know if you guys want me to incorporate clothing and like my makeup into the hair stuff i'll just put a little clip and then add it to like a get ready with me let me know if you guys want to see that i'm putting on my ebon lace spray four times four times is the charm but when it comes to this heat that we're having right now make sure you put an elastic band in your wig i'm sorry there's no exception this wig will slide off your head in 2.5 seconds if you don't put an elastic band so just blow it onto the tacky and then apply it a couple more times once it's to your liking we're gonna put that lace make sure that it's perfectly centered okay and then you're gonna just give it a little bit of tension with your hands and then tie it down these wig companies have been sending over this nice band and i'm loving it and i should have never cut this off but i am gonna cut off that little piece right there if you see it mm-hmm tie this down for 10 minutes once it's 10 minutes you're gonna cut it with your eyebrow razor very important to have a seamless install we know this by now you should know this by now just do your little jagged cut try not to cut your eyebrows you don't want to cut your eyebrows at all and yeah it should look something like this recently i have not been tinting the lace on the underneath part i've just been putting the makeup on top and it's been coming out really good so let's keep it up child not too fucking much have you guys followed um that girl on tiktok she's so freaking entertaining her and her boyfriend i'll be dying i'll be commenting on their stuff anyways that doesn't matter so i'm just spraying some more of the ebon around the hairline and then side down for five minutes make sure when you're tying it down it's not dried yet so after five minutes you should get something like this i'm going in with my ruby kisses foundation in the color 14 and 16 and i'm just running that around the hairline the hairline might look a little bit dark a little bit but that's fine okay this is colored here anything goes i'm gonna go ahead and do the baby hairs i'm only doing four my sideburns my temples that's it but to get a natural look you want to pluck because you don't want no thick edges okay <laughs> you don't want no thick edges looking crazy we need to get this wig install down pack all right once you got it to your liking go ahead and pull all the hair back clip it out of the way this is going to help you to be more clean with your work and you're going to spray some ebon right in between those areas when you're doing your wig and you do this you're going to feel that area being able to lift up like right in between there so we're putting this to make sure that it's nice and stuck Give it a little blow i have a handheld fan that i use when i go on vacation so i'm using that to kind of dry it down a little bit before i tie it down tie it down for five more minutes the amount of times that you tie down this wig is just going to help your install to last longer because it's like pushing it onto the skin now i'm going in with my tweezers and i'm going to tweeze these edges okay you want to take your time with this don't tweeze in one place too long child because it's going to make your edges patchy just take your time and tweeze where you see fit don't tweeze too much because then it's just gonna look like lace and then curl it's going backwards this is a three-fourths flat iron i'm using ghost got to be glued spray and just an edge brush i'm giving myself a little idea of how i want the edges to sit before i go in with my gorilla snot this is my holy grail it helps my edges to last so long so i'm using that on the back of my hand and i'm gonna just trace the kind of idea i gave myself before but I'm just putting it on the roots. So just trace that. I did go ahead and blow it on cool air. So do that all over the head. And that's going to help you to have your most flawless, long-lasting edges. Okay? Especially for this heat. Definitely do this for the heat. Them little soft edges, not going to last through the heat. As soon as you walk outside, it's going to lift up. But yeah, I'm going to tie it down for five minutes again. You guys know the drill. I'm going in with the turn up the heat because we're going to be doing a half up half down. 
I normally don't do that, but I just wanted to today. Part out the hair exactly where you want and give yourself like a fake idea of where you want it to sit. I'm hot combing the hair, going back just to make it nice and flat. It was a little bit high, child. I'm using this Nairobi foam. Nairobi foam. You could get it from your local beauty store. Brushing that back. Then I'm brushing it with a soft brush. And I'm going to put some got to be because that's important to make sure that it stays. Tie it with a hair tie. And I really did not like that, but I ended up just leaving it because I was lazy as Blow it on cool air and take a piece of, from the back, put some mousse, and wrap it around. This is going to help disguise that hair tie and make your wig way more seamless. I'm using a little bit more mousse just to smooth that out. And then I'm going to use some leave-in conditioner to spray all over the ends of the hair. And I'm going to add some mousse to it as well just to give it a little bit of pop and give the ringlets a pop. I love this. This looks so good. This turned out really good, guys. You guys should try this out. Even with your other wig, just try out this method and try rolling it around your finger. It makes a difference. Like, it, look at that. It's like puffy, but it also defined. I did do my makeup. Make sure you check out that makeup video. You can see my hairline looking a little bit. Ugh. But, I mean, it's still cute. Make sure you like this video and comment down below. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really enjoyed making this hair video. It's super pretty, and you guys already know ginger is my color. So this is the curly version to my Body Wave Ginger, and I hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I will link all Sun Bear hair links down below so you guys can check them out, view the specs and everything, and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye!